Hello everyone and welcome to this special edition of Book Time with Elvis. It's a new weekly segment I'd like to try out uh, called Wordy Wednesdays. And I think I've mentioned before uh, that I'm an English teacher and I really do enjoy uh, teaching English and learning about the English language. For many years uh, I've been very interested in uh, the etymology of words, where words come from, uh, looking at unusual words both in English and of course other languages. And I also had quite a big interest in um, Samuel Johnson, uh, who's probably a, a, one of the best known wordsmiths, and uh, his dictionary of 1755. And a few years ago I bought a copy of this book, which is a selection of his definitions from uh, the two volumes of the dictionary that he published. Uh, the book itself is edited and the selections are collected by uh, the well-known uh, linguist uh, David Crystal. So what I thought I would do is introduce you to some strange words that maybe you don't know. So these videos won't be very long and we'll go through um, Johnson's dictionary and I will select a few uh, definitions uh, and words that I think will be of interest to you. Uh, I hope they will be of interest to you anyway. So you should hopefully be able to uh, know your fop doodles from your um, vaticides, for example. Uh, you'll know if you've been on the receiving end of a curtain lecture or perhaps even experienced perpetation. Now these are words probably uh, like me, I haven't heard much before until delving into this book and looking at some of the uh, vocabulary and things used back in the 18th century. Um, so, as I said, I don't want this to be very long. I want it to just be a quick, fun watch. Uh, I thought we'll just start with a, a small list of these words uh, actually printed on the back of this book before we dive right in next week and have a look at them more in uh, perhaps alphabetical order, I haven't decided yet, but I will make some selections that I think are interesting and I hope that it will also interest you guys as well. So I mentioned before uh, the expression curtain lecture. This is quite nice, though I'm not sure it would be um, politically correct these days, but according to Johnson's Dictionary, uh, a curtain lecture is a reproof that's given by a wife to her husband in bed. Quite like that. That's quite funny. A fop doodle is a fool or an insignificant wretch. Merry thought. I like that. All one word, a noun, merry thought. Apparently, this is a forked bone on the body of fowls, so called because boys and girls pull in play at the two sides the longest part broken off, betokening priority of marriage. So I suppose it's a type of wishbone, really. Did it know it? It's quite nice. Nappiness. Nappiness. Well, it's got nothing to do with nappies, but it does have to do with naps, and apparently nappiness is the quality of having a nap. So those of us who feel uh, lazy on a Sunday afternoon after a big lunch probably indulge in nappiness. Hmm. Perpetation. Perpetation. This is the act of drinking largely. I'm pretty sure some of us have been guilty of that uh, from time to time. Oh, I like this one. Smell feast. Smell feast. A smell feast is a parasite or one who haunts good tables. So I suppose if you are somebody who, who's known to go uh, around your friends and eating all their food, perhaps someone like uh, Kramer in, in Seinfeld, if you ever watched that, he could be uh, described uh, as a smell feast. Hmm. Travel tainted. Travel tainted. That's good. It has, a, it has a better ring to it than jet lagged or something, doesn't it? Travel tainted. It's being harassed or fatigued with travel. Vaticide is the next one. Vaticide. I'm not sure there's much call for it these days. One has to wonder about Johnson's time, though, because Vaticide is a murderer of poets. 
So perhaps it was quite dangerous in Johnson's time if you if you wrote a bad piece of poetry, uh, then you know the critics were obviously pretty harsh. And the last one that we'll look at today is the word worldling, worldling, and this, according to Johnson, is a mortal set upon profit. Well, it's probably quite a good word for this day and age, isn't it? Given uh, people's uh, drive to to make money, so there are probably many worldlings out there. So that's just a brief introduction of what I hope to do uh, in this little segment each week, uh, and I hope you find it interesting. I will write the words under the video, uh, so if you do want to use them from time to time, maybe amuse your friends, you certainly can. So thank you very much for watching and listening, and I look forward to seeing you all next week in our first real episode of Wordy Wednesdays from Book Time with Elvis. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.